hi there welcome back in this knowledge sharing video i am going to share how to upload single file as well as multiple files into s3 bucket using terraform let me go to my workspace in visual studio code here i have created a directory and named it as s3 files inside it i have a main.tf file where i have written multiple block of codes I will try to explain each block one by one. The first block is the provider block, where we are using AWS as our provider. Next we have a resource block for S3 bucket, where we are trying to create one S3 bucket with the name KTTF my test bucket. So let's go ahead and create this bucket. Launch a new terminal. Go inside the directory. And run Terraform in it. This will install all the necessary packages for Terraform. If you want to re-verify the resources you are about to create, you can run Terraform plan. Post that run Terraform apply. I am going to use auto approve keyword to skip the verification check. Make sure to use this keyword only when you are pretty sure about the resources you are creating. Apply complete one resource added. Let's go back to our S3 management console to verify the S3 bucket we created. Here it is, we have our S3 bucket in Asia Pacific Mumbai region. Now let's go back to our workspace. Now let me uncomment the next part of the code. Here I am uploading a single file into S3 bucket. Here I have created a resource with the name S3 single object. I am deriving the name of the bucket from the S3 bucket we created just now. Key is the name of the source file and source is the absolute path of the file itself. I have a test.txt file in my desktop location. And I am going to upload the same into the S3 bucket. In E tag, again provide the absolute path of the source file. Now save this file and run Terraform apply again. Once done, go back to your S3 management console and inside your S3 bucket. Verify the test file we uploaded just now. Here it is. Now let's go back to our workspace again. Let me uncomment the next part of the code. Here I am uploading multiple files into the S3 bucket. For that, in a single directory, I have created multiple files and I have named it as test1 and test2. Now here, once again, create a resource. I am naming it as S3 multi object. Now here, we need to create one iterator which will iterate through the files inside the directory. And one by one, it will upload the files into the bucket. Let's save this file and run Terraform apply again. Awesome, files uploaded. Let's go back to our S3 management console to verify. Here are the files. 
But what if we want to create one separate folder and upload these files inside it? To do that, let's go back to our workspace. In the next block of code, I am creating a folder. Here I have created a variable of type string and by default, it is named as multiple S3 files which will be the name of the directory itself. Now in the next block of code, I am again creating a resource of type bucket object. Here the key is the name of the directory itself and I am providing it as dollar where dot named folder. Mark the slash at the end and content type is application x directory. Let's save this code and run terraform apply. Awesome. Let's go back to our S3 management console to verify. Here is the directory that we created just now, but there are no files inside it. So let's go back to our workspace again and upload some files into this directory. Let me uncomment the next block of the code. Once again, a resource with name S3 objects inside directory an iterator which will iterate through the files inside the directory and will upload it one by one. Make sure to write the value of this key properly. Mark the changes in the key where the key name is where.named folder slash each dot value which means directory name slash the file name. Now let's save this code and run terraform apply. Awesome. Let's go back to S3 management console and inside directory refresh. Here are the files. So this completes the learning from this lesson. Now go ahead and try to upload some files into your S3 bucket using Terraform. I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.